thing we're gonna do is cylinders. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to look at your formula chart. So here's your formula chart and find where it says volume. That's where we're gonna focus this whole week. We will not start surface area until we come back from spring break. Okay, so there's volume. Our formula is for cylinder is big B, little h. Pyramid is one third big B, little h, and a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. So, if you will look at the page that has the little lines all over it. Okay, so we are doing volume. They ask you, is it volume or surface area? Well, we're doing volume all week long. What is that shape? It's a cylinder. It's a squished Coke can. Okay, you're on the wrong side. That's a sphere. Make sure you're looking at a cylinder. And your formula is big B, little h. Now look at the shape of that base. Look at the shape of the base. What is the shape of the base? A circle. Shade the base. So that is a circle and we shaded it. Now, so big B is the area of the base. So go back to your formula chart and where it says area, put a big B. Like put a big B beside area. So anytime you see big B, you're gonna go to area. And of course, you know I have a fun little saying and you won't forget that because it'll be stuck in your head shortly. So we are going to put big B little h. Now, anytime you have a capital letter, we'll also have big P's when we move to surface area. Anytime you have a capital letter, you're gonna do TP, put a TP under it. That means you need to go find another formula, okay? And big B is area. So we're gonna go big B area, okay? So where do we go with big B? Area. area. Okay, you're gonna draw the shape of the base underneath your TP every time. And this will make you not miss this. You told me that air, the shape was a circle. So draw a circle underneath our TP. Now, put your finger on area on your formula chart and go to circle, go across, and what is your formula? K equals pi r2 r squared. Pi r squared. Now, volume, they're all gonna be circles. When we move to surface area, you'll have bases that are triangles and rectangles. So that will change, but with volume, it's always gonna be a circle. And then bring down your height. So we now need to do our radius because in eighth grade, you always use your radius. You will never use your diameter. What is your radius? Five. Five. And what is your height? Two. 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 So you will always write R equals and H equals and then this formula right here, okay? Now you plug it in, plug it in, pi. Your radius, you told me, was five, and you told me my height was two. You do not touch your calculator until all of this is written down. Now we're rounding to the nearest tenth. Yes, sir, you do? Yes, but not the blanks on the side, but the left-hand side, you sure do. And what did you get as your, your answer? 
perfect. Now we're going to skip this blank part since it's the same shape. And I'm going to show you what I expect from every cylinder for volume. Writing it down. Okay. So the first thing we're looking for volume, I expect the formula. What is your formula that says on your formula chart? Big B, little h, T, P. Where do you go with big B? Area. Area. What is the shape of my base? A circle. So that goes underneath your TP. So in that circle, you put your formula for area of a circle, which is? Pi R squared. Pi R squared times height. Then I expect you to write your radius equals and your height equals. This is what you have to do with every single problem. What is your radius? I see a 10. Good. That's what they like to put on the star test. We never use the diameter. Do you know the diameter goes from one side of the circle to the other? Radius is half it. So you must divide it by two. So my radius is five. They will put a diameter on there to get you. And it would have got some of you. What is my height? 15. Now I can go plug it into my formula. So everything I just wrote right there must be written for every single problem. And what is the answer? Perfect. That's how you work a cylinder. Okay, now let's go do a cone. We're filling the blanks on this one since it's new. Okay, of course we're doing volume. It is a cone. What is your formula for volume of a cone? One third big B little h. What is the shape of my base? A circle. My pen's in slow motion. Sorry. What is my radius? And what is my height? Eight. Perfect. What do I put under my big B? Uh, TP. I need to bring down my one third because I'm not touching it yet. Where do you go with big B? Area. You told me my shape of my base was a circle. What's your formula for area of a circle? Pi R squared, bring down the height. Now you can plug in your numbers. One third times pi times two squared times eight. Make sure you have plugged your numbers into your formula. All that must be shown.
what did we get? Perfect. Now, just so you know and understand the formula, if I had two figures, one was a cylinder and one was a cone, and they have the same radius and the same height, this one would be a third, the cone would be a third of the cylinder. It would take three of these cones to fill up that cylinder. That's where the formula comes from, okay? And you are going to have an exemplar on Wednesday that is like that, you're finding both answers, okay? So just so you know that, a cone is one third the cylinder. Now the easiest sub volume is your sphere, but there is one thing that is tricky that will get you if you're not careful. Now, oh. So, we're doing volume. A sphere is a basketball. It's a globe. Okay, what is, we have volume of course, we have a sphere. What is your formula for a sphere? Four thirds pi r cubed. Cubed. The mistake on that is people hit square. Okay, easiest one, you don't have to go find a big B or anything, you just have to know the radius. What is my radius? Two. Two. So I just have to go over here and I just literally have to plug in my two and I need to cube it. Now remember to cube something, you hit the carrot top and then you'll hit three, okay? So hit alpha y equal four over three, just be careful because that's the get you. that answer? 33.5. 33.5. Okay. Number 10. Oh, not number 10. The diameter is 10. Okay, we have volume. We don't need to do that. We just did that on the other one. What shape is it? What's your formula? Uh, four thirds pi r cubed, right? Okay. What is my radius? Five. Woo! What's my radius? Five. Do you see that goes from one end to the other end? That's called the diameter. I only need half of it. Half of it is the radius. The radius is five. See how that one's gonna get you if you're not careful. They love to put the diameter on one of them. As an eighth grader, you don't use diameter in anything. It's not on any of our formulas. We use radius on all of ours. What did we get? Perfect. I just taught you all the volume. We'll do surface area after spring break. So we are practicing nothing but volume the rest of the week. Okay? So what are they going to give you? They're going to give you some word problems. So they're not just going to say, here's a cute little picture, figure it out. So let's practice some word problems. Oh. <laughs> Guess what? You know me. You gotta draw the picture. You gotta write radius and height. <clears throat> and you have to write your formula and then plug in the stuff. Okay? 
We have a cylindrical, ooh, that's a fancy word for a cylinder. Now, I know y'all are gonna be just as pretty as my ass. Draw a cylinder. I am not an art teacher, so don't judge my cylinders. We have a giant ocean tank at the New England Aquarium in Boston. It is 24 feet deep and has a radius of 18.8 .8 feet. So the when it says deep, that's your height. So I need to see a picture. I need to see a height. Now I need to see a formula. What's your formula? Okay, big B, little H, T, B. Where do you go with big B? Area. What's the shape of the base? A circle. What's your formula for area of a circle? Bring down the height. My radius is 18.8. .8. Remember when you're rewriting it, don't forget the square. I figured these always are usually bubble in. Perfect bubble in ones. What shape is a drum? A cylinder. Okay, we have a diameter of 22. Do I ever use the diameter? No. So what's the radius? 11. 11, perfect. What is the, um, it says 18 inches deep, so that would be your height. What's your formula? Big B, little H, T, B. Where do you go with Big B? Area. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Thank you very much for doing it with me. Where do we go with Big B? Area. area. Thank you. What is your formula for area of a circle? I, 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 I. Bring down the height. So we have pi times 11 squared times 18. And what did we get? 6,842.4. I missed something. 6,842.4. We have a soccer ball. What shape is it? A sphere. They come in several different sizes. One of them has a diameter of 24. 
What's your radius? <coughs> Twelve. What's your formula? It is four, four over three times or two pi r cubed. Good. Perfect. And you never have to memorize those. You will always have a formula chart. What is our shape? It has a radius. Ooh, that's a big one. Four thirds five bar cubed. And what is our number? Two million four hundred eighteen thousand seven hundred twelve point seven. Awesome job. That is one major. Surface area is the other. calculator. Amazing job, amazing job. 